Hello, everyone. Welcome to this video. This is the fourth in publishing perspective series on this year's special edition of the Frankfurt Book Fair, uh, which is taking place next week. Uh, I can't believe the fair is already here um, and that we don't have to think about what we're going to pack for our trips this year. We're all going to be uh, attending this from home, or many of us are. Um, one major element of the Frankfurt Book Fair is its guest of honor program. Um, and the plans for the 2020 guest of honor program were sadly disrupted this year by the coronavirus pandemic. Um, and today we're gonna talk about how Canada, which was scheduled to present itself this year uh, and is now guest of honor for the 2021 fair has navigated these changes and how they're going to present their authors and their literature this year. Um, my name is Hannah Johnson. I'm the publisher of Book Trade Magazine Publishing Perspectives, and I'm joined today by Julie Boyer, the Director General of International Trade at Canadian Heritage, Caroline Fortin, the President of Canada FBM 2020 and a publisher based in Montreal, and Jürgen Bose, the Director of the Frankfurt Book Fair. So welcome to you all and thank you for taking some time out of your busy schedules to talk to us today. Um, so I'll jump right into some questions. Um, this first one actually is for all three of you as you've all been involved. Uh, postponing the guest of honor uh, is unprecedented in the history of the Frankfurt Book Fair. And I know that everyone involved worked really hard to find a solution um, working internationally to coordinate with other guests of honor to subsequently postpone their presentations. Uh, how do you guys all feel about the outcome uh, and the agreement that was reached? And maybe Jürgen, you can start and then Julie and then Caroline. Thank you, Hannah. Actually, it's a very special edition of the Frankfurter Buchmesse this year. When we started planning earlier this year, we were planning a physical fair but we were also aware that we have a very difficult pandemic situation. So we also planned the virtual fair, which also meant for our guest of honor, which is actually so important for Frankfurt. It's a core, it's, it's a, the backbone of the Frankfurter Buchmesse is actually having a guest of honor, having a translation program, having many cultural events, presenting what's happening in literature in this country, what's happening in, in society. So we realized we were not able to have this this year. So we discussed this with our uh, friends in Canada and we discussed it with the coming guest of honors and we decided to postpone it by a year. But it was also clear that we wanted to showcase Canada in our virtual book fair this year. And I think we came up with a quite interesting program and we will tell you more about that in a few minutes. Julie, did you think that um... Are you happy with the results? And do you want to maybe talk a little bit about the, the work that went into making Canada the guest of honor in 2021 also? Yes. Well, personally, I'm delighted that the Canada's guest of honor participation has been postponed to 2021 um, because it gives us an extra year to be in the spotlight in Germany. And we have lots to showcase. Um, we have been able to pivot very quickly to move into the production of virtual content to showcase the authors we had selected to be part of our physical delegation this year and to make very interactive and engaging uh, video panels where they will be speaking to you about their books and their process uh, for writing their books. Uh, and we'll also feature lots of cultural programming. We're delighted with this outcome and a big thank you uh, to the Frankfurter Book Messe for deciding to still give Canada a chance to have a spotlight this year. And also to the next three guest of honor countries, uh, Spain, Slovenia and Italy, who each agreed to postpone their guest of honor participation by one year to allow us to have our chance at having our physical participation next year. And Caroline, from your perspective, uh, not only being involved with the Guest of Honor, but also as a publisher, um, do you, how do you feel about, about the situation? Uh, we can't hear you. Thank you, Anna. Yeah. Um, well, I, I, I think I talk for all the publishers of Canada. We are very happy of the outcome. 
Um, I remember last year, a year ago, we were uh, having a cocktail party in the Canadian collective stand, and it was really amazing to see how much more publishers were present, how much, you know, the, the, the sense, everybody was very exciting, looking forward to the year in front of us. So I, I you know, when we, the pandemic started and everything, and then we realized that uh, our life will be changed for a while. It was very scary to see that maybe this project that we worked so hard would not have any outcome. So now it's perfect, I think. Uh, we have a great programming this year that is showcasing a real sense of who we are um, in terms of voices in the, in literary voices and the Canadian perspective and you know all the the, the um, our slogan that is so you know very in the core of who we are and I think it's it's fantastic so we have a great present this year and hopefully next year will be something um, interesting too and I think uh, we, we're quite happy and we're really thankful to the book fair and to the Canadian government that worked really hard we we were really happy to see all this work being put in for our industry and our our, our cultural uh, presence so it's it's fantastic yes and, as I said before it's so important for us actually that Canada is present this year as well but actually we're looking forward to 21, yeah, that where it's going to be the big Canada guest of honor. But actually this year, we also have about 280 new releases here in Germany from Canadian authors. And this is quite an achievement in this very difficult year. And we have a rights catalog available and we have the presence, which I'm really looking forward of Margaret Atwood, yeah, which uh, Julie, Caroline, you prepared for us. And this is quite a premiere to have her an exclusive discussion with Margaret about literature and about Canadian uh, culture. And while we're talking about the program, um, Julie, could you tell us just a little bit more about how Canada is going to present itself this year and um, maybe the process of narrowing down what would have been a very big uh, guest of honor presence to the virtual events this year? Um, yeah. Yeah. So. I'm very delighted that we've been able to pull together over 60 events that will be taking place for this year's Frankfurt Book Fair. Most are virtual, but some will still be taking place in the city of Frankfurt, in Berlin, and across Germany. Uh, for the virtual programming, we do have an exciting hour interview with Margaret Atwood, where she shares her views on US politics, on the impact of the pandemic on uh, Canadians' uh, writing styles and how to integrate that in the story, where she's touching on themes of hope. Um, so I think it, it'll take you, it'll carry you away and, and uh, keep you interested for the whole hour. And then we also have a, a panel discussion with John Rustin Saul, where he's having a conversation with a group of Canadian and German authors, also on today's themes of inclusion, plurality, equality. Again, kind of a wink to our over our overarching theme of singular plurality. And then some great literary panels uh, with authors and illustrators from across Canada, including Kim Thuy, Jasmine Saucier, Sydney Smith, uh, that all participate in virtual events. And the cool thing about these panels is that the production team traveled into the hometowns of these authors and interviewed them in their setting. So it, you're not only carried away by what they're saying, but you're also traveling across Canada and getting a virtual taste of what we have to offer. I mean, I think that sounds like sort of an upside to doing all of these events from home as you get a more intimate look at what the authors uh, do and where they work. That's fantastic. Um, Jürgen, could you talk a little bit about what's going to happen in Frankfurt? I know there are some Canadian um, exhibitions at museums and uh, also a cooperation with Arta, which is a television station, um, some of the actual things that people can see in Frankfurt about Canada this year. Yeah, as you know, our Guest of Honor uh, program is not only focused on books, but tries to showcase all aspects of a culture, of a country, yeah. And last week, we already had the first opening of an exhibition by Jeremy Shore, 
Yeah, and I was so excited to see this because this is really, uh, it's so impressive. Yeah, you need to see it. I hope we can um, uh, video it as well somewhere. But there's a lot more to see in Frankfurt during this time that at the Museum uh, for Communication, we have uh, discussions on, on uh, Marshall McLuhan and the arts. I think this is very interesting for us because he influenced generations yeah, of us. And uh, we have um, an, an event at the Weltkulturen Museum, World, Museum of World Cultures, yeah, which is called Let Them Speak, commenced from British Columbia. We have another um, uh, exhibition uh, presentation at the Künstlerhaus Musonton, which is very avant-garde. Cutlass Spring from Dana Michael, all the sex I've ever had, which sounds <laughs> quite, quite uh, challenging. And uh, we are going to have a lot more that at the Central Library, um, at, at different ateliers, the German Film Museum is going to showcase Canadian movies. Uh, we have the B3 Festival, which is a festival for moving images, yeah, which is more a bit more academic and artistic. So they are showing Canadian movies in their competition in the program. So there's a lot of events in Frankfurt, not only in the next week, but in the weeks to come. And this is a question for Caroline. You know, another way that German um, consumers uh, can experience the Guest of Honor is through the translations of uh, the Guest of Honor literature that are published into German. And um, do you have a sense of, I mean, Jurgen mentioned 280 translations. Um, do you have a sense of um, how the Canadian publishers are responding? Are they reporting strong ride sales? And do you think this is gonna continue into 2021? I, I believe it will continue to 2021. What we know now as we survey, uh, most of the books are being published now. So we have no idea what will be the effect of all the, 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 the events will do. But I, I, we know that 76% um, of the German publisher intend to publish before the end of this 2020 but other are, you know, will move their, their release to next year. So we're gonna have a two, and they all, all German publisher that we survey said that they will, even if they launch this year, they will, you know, bring back the promotion of their Canadian books next year. So actually it's, it's a great, I think all the publishers in Canada are very happy of that. And we've seen interest in our literature, you know, increased a fair bit, and it's, it's it's amazing how many rights we sold. And I think if we're only going to fall, go forward and have more interest as we move, we are as publishers, we are getting accustomed now to the new new uh, sell, right sales. I've bad, have started my my Frankfurt meetings via Zoom and all that. I think we're you know we're gonna get to this part where we go back to what we know what to do is meeting publishers from around the world and showcasing what we do. So I think we're in the middle of it, uh, starting learning this new way. And I think it will, yeah, be success successful. I am, I am convinced of that. And do you think that um, you're seeing additional rights sales into other countries in addition just to Germany? I mean, a lot of times the guest of honor rights activities focus on German translations, um, but sometimes Germany is called a gateway language in terms of other right sales. Are you seeing that? And are, do you think other publishers are? I, I'm pretty sure that we will see. Um, I don't have any numbers, but what I know is many, many Canadian publishers has you know, started to do any right sales because of this project. Yeah, many smaller house in Canada didn't even, you know, it, you know, created any right sale catalog. They, they, we, we have in in all this process of getting the, the publishers to go to Frankfurt was all to show how they can open up to the world. And I think this, in fact, is I don't know the numbers of publishers that started to do right sale, but many of them, and it's it's very fantastic to see, and they're having successful. Uh, sales in the Germany, and I'm pretty sure that they, that's the first step towards going around and you know presenting the title to to all the world of publishing. So yeah, I think it will open up uh, business for many many publishers. A follow up question because I've been hearing reports that actually the book market in Canada is doing pretty well during the pandemic. Is that is that the case? Are you are you seeing strong book sales? Are you feeling yeah. good about this? 
Yeah, it's uh, it's quite a surprise, and it's uh, it's very welcome. We've had, like everyone, everybody else, we have had a couple of months that was very very difficult because everything was closed. We are now. Uh, sadly, in the middle of a second wave in, in our parts, and I think it, Toronto is the same, and the main part of Canada is going to a second wave, and Montreal is now in lockdown. Starting tomorrow will be more severe lockdown. Um, but book sales are very, very good since the bookstores are not going to be closed again, so, and internet sales is really high. I think... The, the fact that, you know, we've been now, you know, going through this for six months, people, you know, a, a lot of readers went back to book. And I think it's a, it's a comforting uh, thing to see because, you know, like, you know, if they, after going through maybe all their video offering and everything, they just went back to reading and that's great. And then we see that um, they, they actually, you know, engaged in, got more interest in local as well in our part. I think Canadian books are very, very appealing to Canadians. It's what we, it is one of the positive outcome of all this uh, situation we're going through. But we're being prudent though. I, I you know, every day is a new day, <laughs> I guess in that kind, but so far so good. Yeah. Everyone's having to make adjustments and, and sort of respond on the fly. Um, I want to finish this with a question for all of you. And I know this is, it might be kind of a big question, but um, you know, each of you are, are leaders in your, own, in your own communities and uh, the pandemic has put us through a lot of challenges. I wonder if you could just talk maybe on a, on a personal note have you gained any insights during this time that you think are going to serve you well in the future or that you might uh, that might have a positive outcome uh, going forward? Maybe uh, Jürgen and then Julie and then Caroline. Yeah, we have had uh, many new ideas during this time. Yeah, um, actually, uh, but first of all, now having been in front of this screen for, for months, um, I'm, I'm re really looking forward to see people again, real people. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to 21 to have all the Canadians over. That's what we are working on. But on the other hand, it's quite an experience to have worked in, in a virtual world as now. Yeah, and we were, have been able to reach out to a lot more people and we're going to be able to reach out to a lot more people next week. And actually what we've produced now, this content, yeah, this, this, these new formats, they are going to stay. So actually what we've been doing is now enriching the physical presence uh, with a with a larger with a bigger outreach actually, yeah we have virtual attendance I think more than four and a half thousand right now and it's going to be more even next week, but uh, these people hopefully stay in touch with each other yeah this is going to be very excited to see this it's a big experiment we are going to learn a lot and so next year's book fair is going to be with Canada an even better book fair. Well, I certainly hope so, and I I think. I also am looking forward to seeing people in person. <laughs> uh, Julie, do you, do you want to weigh in? Yes, absolutely. I think since the pandemic started, uh, it has impacted me in two different ways. And the first one would be that since the beginning of the pandemic, I've thought a lot about um, my personal values as I look at what's happening in our world. And we've really seen uh, how this has impacting impacted us very differently. And uh, we've seen uh, a spotlight shine on the inequalities in our society. And this has made me think about how I wanna live my life and how I wanna make a difference and um, how I want to address those issues to make the world kind of a better place for my son. And then the second part, uh, a little bit less introspective, but uh, it's taught me to really think about new ways of communicating and connecting with people close to me, but also in a professional way, how to connect with Canadians, um, how to connect with our stakeholders, how to connect with the German public for the Frankfurt Book Messe. And I think, as Jürgen said, uh, it's pushed us to be innovative, to think outside the box, and to really kind of showcase the best we have to offer to keep people's attention. So I hope that the German public will connect with our Canadian stories and how they've been impacted by the world's current events, and that for a short time, 
you'll be carried away by the stories that our authors are weaving for us. Oh, thank you. Well, I, I certainly hope that too. And I, I hope that people really take a, um, some time to engage with, with your events and with your presentations and authors. Mm -hmm. Caroline. Well, I really like what Julie said at the beginning. I think it's true that we, um, being alone uh, in front of our screen, looking at the world, you know, evolve at this moment, it makes us realize many things and what our, our core belief and uh, all that. And I think it's, yeah, it makes us reconnect to what we really want in the end and what we, how we really feel. Uh, one thing for sure, like all of you, I can't wait to, to have an in-person meet, in meeting with anybody. Um, and uh, I really miss the fact that I'm not in the plane at the moment on the way to Frankfurt. I, be, I thought it, I'd be happy not to go for once after 20 years, but this time I, I realize it, I will miss it thoroughly. Um, I, you know, it's not the same to do a video, but I think it did bring I think the fact that we are now meeting more, I'm meeting more people that I haven't met before because I use this Zoom and I normally, I, I wouldn't reach out to people as easily now. And yes, I am often in Zoom, but I, it's great because I'm gonna keep that afterwards because I think uh, it's great to see the person you talk to and all that. So that's one thing that will take away. Um, but, you know, I, in business sense, I, I don't, I don't know I'm going to keep a big of office empty like that. I, I am not sure and I'm not convinced if um, we'll go back to fully, I think a lot of my employees enjoy working from home and I fully understand. And that's one thing I've learned from this is I realize so much of uh, having to go to work, having to, a, a lot of our stress is on not important stuff. The day-to-day -day life is really stressful. And uh, it's, I'm quite happy to see some of my employees now, you know, engaging, being happy to be home and, you know, having, can, having a sense of being closer to their kids and all that. So I think one thing we might take away from it is like another perspective on life, I hope. Well, it sounds like though, for sure, we're all looking forward to seeing each other in person someday soon. Um, and in the meantime, we'll continue to stay in touch on Zoom. Thank you all so much for um, your insights and for sharing. And um, we're very much looking forward to seeing Canada online this year and in person in 2021. Thank you so much, Hannah. Thank you. Caroline. Thank you. Take care. Thanks, everybody. guys. Thank you.